Danger Dolan. From hand-faced moles to amphibians shaped like genitalia, we count 15 of the weirdest and bizarre animals ever to roam in the depths of planet Earth. Number 15. Snakefish. It's exactly what it sounds like. A carnivorous ocean death machine, known for consuming all other fish in a lake or pond, including its own children. Yeah. It can hop out of the water and slither around for days at a time to find new ponds to massacre, eating small land animals along the way, and they've even been known to attack people. It's not indestructible though. They're consumed by crocs and alligators quite often, though luckily they've been prohibited from getting introduced to a number of states and countries, including Australia. Number 14. The Commodore Dog. This one is bizarre because of his long, thick, corded coat resembling dreadlocks or a giant walking mop. It's actually a danger to itself since the cords get tangled so easily, and they grow in length as they get older, so human help is needed to ensure the dog doesn't turn into one impossibly tangled mat of fur. They usually grow to around 30 inches in height, and they're a lot more agile than you might think. Number 13. Bluebird of Paradise. This is the Slenderman of the animal kingdom, a bird with a peculiar courtship display of two blue dots above a long strip in a wide black oval. It was discovered in 1884, and since then, habitat loss and hunting has turned it into a vulnerable species, but not endangered. You'll find them in Papua New Guinea, standing beside trees watching small children. Number 12. The Angora Rabbit. This, along with the Angora Cat and the Angora Goat, were breeds domesticated in Ankara, Turkey. They were popular pets for the French royalty in the mid-1700s, and by present day, they've spread all over the world. Nowadays, people breed them for their long, long wool that can be removed via shearing or plucking. Number 11. Penis Snake. Or known by its scientific name, Atrotrachona. It's a large aquatic amphibian with a broad, flat head and a fleshy dorsal fin. Only true preserved specimens were found until 2011, when live samples were discovered in Brazil. This beast, shaped like a wang, is the largest tetrapod to lack lungs, but its theoretical vaginal counterpart has yet to be discovered. Number 10. The Pink Fairy Armadillo. These are the smallest species of armadillo found in central Argentina, usually around dry grasslands and sandy plains, thorn bushes and cacti. It's hard to find them though, since they bury underground within seconds if they get frightened, and will not come back up until all is clear. Not to mention it's nocturnal, so as long as it can bury itself near an ant colony, it can happily sit there for quite a while feeding on ants, worms, snails, and anything else that might come near. Number 9. Star-nosed mole. This is like something from another world. A mole with what looks like two fleshy hands for a face. Over the years, researchers hypothesized whether they actually were used as hands for grasping prey or picking things up, or if it were an exposed organ used like a bat's sonar. It turns out, though, that it's a collection of 25,000 sensory receptors used by the mole to feel its way around environments. Number 8. The Proboscis Monkey, one of the more popular species of monkey from the Southeast Asian island of Borneo. Easily recognisable because of its outrageous nose. It's believed the nose may be selected as a sexual trait, since female monkeys generally prefer the males who have a bigger nose. Unfortunately, it's assessed as an endangered species with a population decrease of 50% in the last half a century. Number 7. Cassowary. Also known as the Australian Philoceraptor. It's known worldwide as the deadliest bird on Earth and only one of two birds known to cause death to humans by physical assault. They're more deadly than a crocodile, and their giant claws can tear the organs from your body in a matter of seconds. The reason they attack is because they have a large territory to protect, miles in diameter, and they perceive a lot of creatures as threats. And given the track records of human beings in terms of animal extinction, it's a well-warranted response. Number 6. The Ground Sloth. This one is technically cheating since they went extinct between 12 and 6,000 years ago, but they're interesting nonetheless, and their relatives the Tree Sloth are still around today. The Megatherium Sloth was known as one of the biggest land mammals, near the size of an elephant or a mammoth, and up to 4 tons in weight. 
While the ground sloth was a herbivore that stripped away trees with its massive claws, it's been suggested that perhaps it indulged in carnivorous activities from time to time, but it's never been proven. Getting chased by one of these would have been like getting attacked by the world's biggest bear back then. Number 5. Axotl. These ones are odd, a type of salamander that never undergo metamorphosis, so they remain aquatic and gilled for their whole lives. They are also of interest because of their ability to regenerate most body parts, how easy it is for them to breed and how large their embryos are. Because of their appearance, they are usually kept as pets all over the world, the United States, UK, Australia and Japan to name a few. Number 4. The Goblin Shark, a type of deep sea shark that, despite its ferocious and ungodly appearance, lies too far down in the ocean to pose any danger to humans. Only a few have ever been seen, and those that were rescued alive died very shortly after captivity. In 2003, there was a massive earthquake in northwestern Taiwan, and hundreds of these goblin sharks were caught, although the captures since have remained scant. Number 3. Ai Ai. This little creature is known to the Malagasy people as Harbinger of Misfortune, a plague upon villages and therefore must be killed on sight to prevent bad luck. In reality though, the Ai Ai's are nocturnal primates, about 16 inches in diameter, with large beady eyes and spoon-like ears, as well as the traditional five-fingered monkey claw. Number two, the Yeti Crab, a crustacean first discovered in 2005 along the South Pacific Ocean with a silky, blonde fur-like material covering its legs all the way up to the claws. It was found deep in the ocean, hanging around hydrothermal vents, and because of this, its eyes have developed a lack of pigment, a possibility that it might actually be blind. The pincers themselves contain a bacteria that can detoxify poisonous materials emitted by the vents, and the crab eats algae and shrimp. Number one, Sega antelope. Once thought to be extinct before it was rediscovered, this is a living fossil from the days of the saber-toothed tiger and woolly mammoth 250,000 years ago. Over the years, poaching have reduced their numbers by 95% in 15 years, and it's only in the last five years or so that we've started trying to save their species, which has been largely successful, but they're still considered critically endangered. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one.